Hi YouTube, it's me HPZ again and today we're going to be modifying or chipping a PlayStation 1. This unit is an NTSC unit. It's unable to play any of the local South African games. Uh, South Africa is a PAL territory and uh, basically NTSC games will not work here unless the machine is modified or chipped in some way. I must stress that while we are going to be chipping this machine, it's not for piracy at all. The only reason I'm doing this is to play local South African games. Or to allow the machine to play local South African games. What we're going to be using is a chip that was recently ported over from the old Crow's uh, chips. It's not a multi-mode compatible chip. It's designed for the PIC 12F629 and uh, it's the only pick that's freely available and you can still actually find them locally now if you're wondering it's not the big one the big one is 18F2455 which I use for other things but that little itsy bitsy tiny I see right on top of it I must stress that you also get the 12F69 in normal uh, dip form but uh, I chose a surface mount version as I've got quite a few of them laying around as you can see there so let's get right to it one more thing uh, I would just like to point out that you are going to need a programmer as well to program your pick um, I'm using an old JDM programmer I built, built years ago I'm not going to show you how to build one of these as you can probably buy one on eBay for like ten dollars or less um, if there's enough requests I could show everyone how to do one but at the moment it's just not you don't really have to go and build your own one right as you can see I've extended the actual IC I have just added wires to each side the reason for this is because my programmer will not be able to take this IC as it's a surface mount IC not a standard dip module and my programmer was designed for dip so I just extended each side of it with some wire and uh, yeah, it should fit now 100% uh, reason why I did not record that would be um, it's the equivalent of watching paint dry it's tremendously boring, tremendously tedious, tremendously unneeded and uh, yeah I didn't think that YouTube would want to watch me extend some wires if any of you object, feel free to tell me in the comments. Here we go, ready for programming. Each pin is perfectly connected to the bottom one, and uh, yeah, let's program it. Welcome back. Um, unfortunately, I had to pull out my old PC, which still has a working serial port. But just to show you the process of doing this, I hope that my camera can actually record the screen. Unfortunately, this computer is so old, I can't do screen capture with it at all. Um, it's very, very, very old. It's like a Pentium 3 still, nonetheless. Okay, so I'm using IC Prog. The first thing that I need to do is read the old code. There we go, doing the configuration. That's old code that used to be on the uh, pick. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go there to erase all. I always erase my picks before and um, it's not, you don't need to do it. But amongst other things, it's a very good pre-course that shows me if it's reading and writing properly, if the pick is functional. Next, I'm just going to quickly open the PSX 12F629X for the chip. It's uh, Gary Opa actually ported this from PSX scene and uh, it, it works pretty well. It's based on the old co uh, the old Crow's work 
it's a very low wire count chip. It does have some bugs, but uh, I'll talk about those a bit later during the video. So, program all. Do you really want to program the device? Yes. Okay, do you want to use the value from FreeFF instead? No, I don't. The oscilloscope on this is already set to the correct value. I don't need to change it. I shouldn't change it. It's not needed. Your device successfully verified. That means uh, the pick is ready to go. Uh, let's just double check. I'm just going to say read all and just double check the first couple of digits 280C, 3FFF, and so forth. Read all. Done. If you've noticed, the pick is on top there. Uh, it's just so everyone can see it programming and doing its little thing. It's done what it's supposed to, and uh, I should be able to continue now. See you guys in a few minutes, when, as soon as I've opened the other machine and set it up the power cam video cables.